welcome to lesson 2 of our introductory series. In this video, we will show you the right way to whisk matcha. Why whisk matcha with a whisk? The gaps between the whisk prongs help to form air bubbles during whisking. This helps to introduce air into the matcha and suspend the matcha particles evenly in water. The result is a layer of creamy froth and smooth matcha with no clumps. Next, we will teach you the right technique to whisk matcha. Follow an M-shaped pattern when whisking. Here's a slow version for you to follow. You should use your free hand to stabilize the bowl. Don't worry, it gets easier with practice. Whisk till a layer of froth has formed. If you don't have a bowl, the full-length whisk can be used to whisk your matcha in a cup. Here are some common whisking mistakes you should avoid. First, do not whisk with a spoon. The spoon has a smaller surface area than the whisk. It cannot suspend the matcha particles in water well, making your matcha taste gritty. Second, do not whisk in a circular motion. This will only pick up matcha particles from the edges of the bowl, leaving powder clumps in the center. It does not introduce air into the matcha, so the matcha will not have a frothy layer. Now that you know how to whisk matcha the right way, join us in our next video to make your very own cafe-grade matcha latte.